Plano stands for Planar Optronic Systems and is a new initiative that's funded by the German Research Foundation. The intention is to, to set the way for a new kind of optical technologies. For us, it represents a vision to condense complex optical systems containing mirrors and lenses and LEDs. We have waveguides, we have detectors, we have sensors. Into one single piece of, of foil. Finally, a kind of optical nerve system we want to uh, install in large-scale, large-area constructions in order to measure temperature and pressure. We can use these foils as sensors which we can uh, attach to the body, we can put it in clothing, we can put it on structures like bridges or buildings. This allows us to measure sensor signals in real time. For example, in medicine, life science or production technology. So what we did, decided to do was to bring together a cluster of people that are spread throughout Germany. There are uh, different competences coming together. We've got chemists, mechanical engineering, and physicists, biologists, and all they bring the expertise together. In that way, we could put together an optimal team. And we found that we could very efficiently work together to develop a new kind of optical technology. So, so far we have kind of bulky optics made from glass and so on, but if we can transfer that to polymer optics, we can produce any kind of optical setup uh, with this technology. We are dealing with sensors, we can do the sensor development, develop the structures, but then you still have to build them, so you need the materials and you also need the production facilities or the techniques just to, to do the structures. We are the material guys in Plano S. Our challenge and our task is here to develop new materials which are um, tailor-made uh, to the needs of our colleagues who do then the processing and uh, the assembly of the optical systems, who develop new sensors um, with these foils. There are certain requirements for these uh, materials. They have to be precisely tailored uh, to the properties. So when we develop foils, they have to have good optical properties. Um, they have to have, for example, a high transmission, the right refractive index of the material. But they should also have then parameters which allow good processability. Because we are not interested in making just very tiny little bits and pieces, yeah? but we are interested in making huge foils. And you can imagine, I mean, if you make a huge foil, you cannot have a device which is several euros per centimeter squared, but then you have materials which have very good processing possibilities that we can actually make um, them also on a large scale. An innovative aspect within Planos is to develop laser-active polymer waveguides. These waveguides will then be used uh, for generation of the optical signal within the sensor structures themselves. In order to achieve this, we use nanoparticles which are embedded in the polymer material and are processed together with the production technologies uh, to assemble the nanostructures. We work on different aspects of this initiative. For example, we work on the development of coupling structures in order to bring the light into the waveguides and the sensor elements we uh, would like to assemble. Uh, we develop and simulate these coupling structures and we also produce them using a special technique which is called hot embossing. Our unit tried to get together two different materials or more than two different materials. For that we are using processes like hot embossing technology and nano imprint technologies and we modify these technology in that kind that we can stick the different materials together and integrate nanoscopic structures to guide the light. And the result should be this printed circuit board-like substrate, what we can combine with the sensors from the other groups. The techniques we are pursuing are femtosecond techniques. So we are employing femtosecond laser technology to write the waveguides into the polymer matrices. You focus a femtosecond laser into the polymer substrate and within the focus the intensity is so high that you do a certain melting of the polymer. The melted polymer is resolidified and the resolidified polymer has a change in index of refraction and if you do everything right the index of refraction is 
bigger than before, which means you can guide some light inside the polymer waveguide. You can think also about writing some curved waveguides to writing some complicated structures. So there are many possibilities around to write two-dimensional structures in the depth of the polymer. We develop uh, printing technologies to realize uh, large area waveguides on polymer foils and we use uh, flexo printing technology for that and uh, we develop kind of optotic bonding that allows to uh, combine optical sources and sinks with these waveguides for example. In order to prevent that uh, with the bonding process this very temperature sensitive foil is hurt by the process and this is a new technology that is necessary to realize uh, the complete sensor networks we're, we're aiming for. I have a team of people in my group that are looking at using ink jetting as a manufacturing technology. Now, these printers spit in tiny little quantities of liquid onto a flat substrate paper and the droplets have different colors. So when you look into these uh, droplets, you realize that the color is given by little nanoparticles. Should we use nanoparticles only as a giver of color, or can they give some other function, right? And uh, need the droplets only be a single layer, or can be these, they be stacked on top of each other? And the moment you start finding the answers there, you realize that you can use these droplets like little bricks in a building to build three-dimensional things. And this, of course, immediately fascinated me. If we can now change red, green, blue, and black, and change that for conductive, non-conductive, optical, or some other function, we can build chips, microchips, but they're a lot cheaper now because we just print them. And I like this idea very much. Yeah. In our laboratories, we have the facilities for measuring the devices on the optical foil. The optical foil is an optical circuit. It's a, it has on it an optical wire, a piece of plastic in which the light from a laser can be guided um, on the surface of the foil, uh, much like an, uh, an electrical wire guides uh, a current. And what you'll see in the laboratory are setups which allow us to couple light into these optical wires to see how well the light is guided and how much light comes out of the optical wire. So we have the, the, the means now to characterize these new kinds of plastic optical circuits, which is important because of course they're extremely small, so we'll see how we can characterize them. We are developing a, a special sensor concept, which are the whispering gallery mode resonators. So these are highly sensitive sensors um, for molecules in the liquid phase. So we are putting fluids on the polymer sensors and then we can detect the constituents and yeah, so what's inside. And that has never been demonstrated in polymers so far. We are really one of the applied projects that realize uh, a sensor. Uh, we are working uh, with these ring resonators and uh, that is an evanescent uh, interaction of the light in the waveguide, in the foil with the surrounding gas. The functionalized sensor elements need to be protected from uh, environmental influences. Uh, in order to achieve this, we coat them using special coatings which are developed at Laser Center Hannover. The main idea is to use a sputter process and to coat the waveguide elements produced using a combination of polymers and ceramics. And this will then ensure that the influences of the environment are kept off the sensor foil. For us, the interesting aspect of Plan OS is the ability to fabricate new generations of optical components using new materials with high functionality in ways that we couldn't actually do it before. Eventually, uh, we, will, we will see them everywhere. They will tie to lighting systems. They will, they will certainly, um, certainly simplify technical systems in hospitals, for example, right? Uh, because the amount of information we could pass through such a planar optronic system is quite phenomenal. It is, it is quite uh, unthinkable at this point. The ultimate uh, vision would be to have a foil that you can use for packaging or for, for uh, covering a surface and within that foil everything is integrated. And this will provide new ideas, new uh, systems that allow to gather real-time information on a large-scale area.